So with this project, I worked on understanding the genetics behind hemoglobin production, how we can look, how we can produce different types of hemoglobin for potential treatment in sickle cell disease and beta thalassemia. I participated in Biogenius for two years now. Last year, because of a scheduling conflict, I was unable to attend the regional Biogenius challenge, but this year the format has really changed with Kansas Bio and the, all that, and that's been really great. I've really liked this format. The way it worked was that a group of us, four of us, were selected from the Greater Kansas City Science and Engineering Fair as a special award. Three more were selected from the Kansas State Science and Engineering Fair. We all presented in Kansas our poster and our oral presentation presentation, out of which three were selected to come here to Washington, D.C. This past Saturday, we presented at the Omni Shoreham Hotel um, with other students from the United States, and ten of us were selected to present here today at the International Biogenius Challenge. This morning, we've been here since 8.30 in the morning. We registered at the bio convention, set up our posters, and then um, judges have continually been coming around for about tw 15 to 20 minute sections each, about seven judges. There have been seven sessions where I've presented about um, 10 judges that have come around, 10 to 12 judges. I've presented each time. They've been able to ask me questions, and I've had a discussion with them about my project and a, a dialogue back and forth about my research. So I'm really excited. It's been great to be here this past weekend, um, presenting multiple times to a lot of different people. Tomorrow there's going to be a really big keynote luncheon with Tony Blair um, speaking. And so I'm really excited to meet him and um, the governor this evening, tonight. And so finding out the results and supporting all my peers will be really cool. And the first place winner in the 2011 International Biogenes Challenge who will receive a $7,500 award is Pratna Dalal, modeling of human non-dilutional hereditary persistence of fetal hemoglobin conditions in beta globin locus transgenic mouse models, the 175 TSC and 195 CDG A gamma globulin gene point mutations, Shoney Michigan High School.